Wolf of Nose dropping a 128 gigabyte Motion Blue version 6 image, fully loaded, all set up with your bezels, everything all done for you. Uh, 17,000 plus titles, holy guacamole. So uh, we're gonna have to check this one out. I can tell you right now though, before we get started, that you're, uh, you're in for a treat. Uh, the 1 in 28, great size, and uh, Motion Blue version 6, mm. what, a what a base image, what a base image indeed. So let's go ahead and have a peep. Nice that we have Motion Blue, we can easily disable our background music in the scripts. We can get started now. We have Wolf of Nose running the comic crazy theme from Hursty, 128 gigabyte. Man, this thing I know is rocking a lot of games. 13,000, I think that's 737 or 137. Either way, golly gee, that's a lot. You can see we have some collections there. And uh, this is Motion Blue version 6. So this is gonna one of the biggest deals here is, uh, A, we don't have a lot of images on Motion Blue version 6 that are pre-made yet. And uh, it's been totally gone through. You should have all of your video snaps and your JPEGs all running really smooth. Uh, you're gonna have that upgraded arcade set, so all your MAME and your arcade games are gonna be all set up and optimized, ready for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, a lot of people want Daphne, you got your Daphne installed already, that's nice to see. Um, I'm also, also told on Intellivision, there's two emulators installed, so almost all the games work, and you might just have to switch between the two emulators by pressing A when you go into that particular game. The only downside I've heard about this image, or two potential downsides, one is that there's no Atari 5200. I know we got some Atari 5200 people out there. But do know that this image does still have 700 megabytes left on it. I'm actually using this image on a Patriot 128 gigabyte SD card and it fit no problem. The actual file size of the image is 125 billion bytes, but it comes in at 116 gigabytes, which is fairly small. I've seen 128 gigabytes as high as 120, 119, and that's where people got into issues. So at 116 gigabyte image, it's gonna be just fine. And I have even better news that this thing downloads at like 98 gigabytes because it's gonna be compressed for you. So you're gonna use a little bit less bandwidth than you will uh, with uh, an uncompressed image when you download it. So those people with bandwidth issues, rest assured. Ports here, we've got Doom, Doom 2, Quake, and Wolfenstein installed. PlayStation, 40 titles here. Capcom vs. SNK, nice to see. All the Crash Bandicoots, Final Fantasy, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2. Man, props, dude. Props. I love GTA. Uh, usually, if somebody, they usually put one and or two. It's never both. So nice to see. Primal Rage, Good Game, Quake, some shoot 'em up, some scrollers, some fighters. You got Tempest on here. Nice. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, great one. All those games are going to run just fine. I think I started talking about this earlier in the video and got sidetracked, which was why Motion Blue version 6 is so great. Um, and that is because of all these scripts right here. You have uh, themes, you have GPIO shutdown, you can, and you can configure all this through your game controller. You don't have to hook up a keyboard. You can change the launching screens, install new themes. Uh, one of my favorite things is Switch Genesis to Mega Drive, as well as the uh, bezel. Uh, uh, there's a bezel program here that you can actually change out the bezels, the RetroArch bezel script. Uh, really easy to use. It's already installed, by the way, the one that gives you individual um, individual bezels per system. So, for example, uh, if we go into Capcom, 1942 should have its own bezel. So you can see we have our custom loading screens. Awesome, beautiful. I'm already loving this image, really well thought out. Uh, but you're also going to see a bezel here. See, there you go. You get the main bezel. So we'll go ahead and check out the games as well. The only downsides I was telling you uh, was no Atari. And then the other downside is that this is only for the Raspberry Pi 3B, the 1.2 gigahertz. If, you're, if you have the brand new Raspberry Pi that came out on Pi Day of 2018, then this uh, will not work for that. So do keep that in mind uh, that that will have... Um, you will not be able to do forward compatibility on this. 
but rest assured that I am uh, I am notified that there will be an updated version of this coming out very soon, like within the next couple of days for the brand new Raspberry Pi. So if you like this, you like Motion Blue, and you want to run with a little bit better performance, buy the brand new Raspberry Pi, and you're gonna have a similar, okay, so here you go. Here's that custom bezel that I was talking about. As you see, it doesn't just say name, you have a custom, custom bezel. How cool is this? I mean, this is dope. I really like that. Okay, some people like the black on the side. That's fine, go ahead and disable the bezels. Easy as a click. And that's why Motion Blue is so great. So let's just go ahead back through here really quick and see what we got. Okay, so starting here, arcade games, 1,081, Atari 2600, 2800, 7800, 57, Lynx, 16, Col Coleco, 298, Daphne, 3, Famicom, 1181, Famicom, Disk System, 79, Game & Watch, 55, 259 on the Game Gear. Just to do Game & Watch, let's check out the bezels on here. I mean, these are these old games that you just play using your A and B button typically, and you can change different sides and things. And there you go, nice, perfect. Uh, the other thing I wanna look at is just look at the portable system, see how they're displayed. So let's go ahead and try Aladdin for Game Gear, for example. I love, love, love that there's custom launch screens per system, and it goes along with that uh, theme on the main RetroPie menu as well. So awesome, I love these bezels. It doesn't stretch the image out. You get the real authentic portable. I like Game Boy Color as well. Um, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance had some awesome, awesome titles for it. And the Raspberry Pi runs it perfectly. So to be able to have that, mm, and this is the way to go. Look at that. Beauty, 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 beauty. All right, this is, this is uh, I might have to redo my best 128 gigabyte image video at this rate. Game Boy 563, Color, five, over 500. In television, this is the one I was telling about, two emulators, Master System 276, Sega Genesis, and in Genesis, it's not Mega Drive, so for you in the US, but if you're in the UK, you just go to RetroPie, switch it to Mega Drive, and you're back in business. Nintendo 64, only 27 games, which is totally fine because most of these games are a little laggy on the Pi, so nice to see. Uh, Mega Man, Mario, oh, I'm glad he included Mickey Speedway, there you go, that's a good racer that runs well on the Pi. Um, Zelda's WrestleMania, Yoshi Story 1080. So, uh, nice to see my favorites here being Diddy Kong, runs great, F-Zero runs great, uh, Mario Kart runs good, and then, uh, I don't know how Rush runs on the Pi, uh, I'll have to play that again, I can't remember off the top of my head, but the Mickey Mouse racing game, Kart game is also really nice. Neo Geo 140. So that's gonna be your metal slugs, all that good stuff. And you got your metal slugs one through X, very nice. NES 1400, okay, yeah, so it has the hacks on here, and it also has the unreleased games as well. So nice to see, not skipping a beat on that kind of stuff. So you're gonna have all your normal titles, plus these little folders here at the top, and you can go into these folders and get access to all your hacked and unreleased games. So for example, Buzz and Waldog, Go ahead and click it, and it should launch this prototype Nintendo game. Uh, Nintendo typically, I think, is around seven or 800 titles total, so that's an additional 500. Uh, I, this seems high to me, but uh, 500 additional uh, games. So solo play, select your player, and uh, we're playing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we cannot step on people. Okay, good to know. All right, so um, as you can see, we're still rocking. Ooh, there you go, that's how you, that's how you kick butt right there. Uh. Jump. White man can jump. All right, cool. So start select out of there. Just uh, some people in the ch in the, in the um, comments sometimes, you know, how do I exit games? So just really quick, I wanna go over this while I got your attention, is you just gotta configure, when you configure your controller here, uh, you can see that I just up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y. I just do all my controls like normal, right? And then when I get to the bottom here, hotkey enable. So the, the exit game is going to be whatever you put as this plus start. So I like to use select. Yes, you can use select twice. I repeat, and make sure you're listening here. You can use select twice in that hot, in the hotkey enable and as a select button. It's not going to be an issue, and that's what I recommend you do. Neo Geo Pocket 8, Neo Geo Pocket Color 37, PC Engine 2. Uh, Castlevania and Gradius. 
PC Engine 149 ports. We already looked at that earlier. PlayStation, we looked at that earlier. And then back to RetroPie, set up all your scripts and everything in here. Um, you do have a track mode. Let's go ahead and see if the track mode's all set up. You got your 32X, Sega CD, 27 games. Let's see if you got the Terminator. If you got the Terminator, you got Sonic CD. I'll be all right. All right, we got those. Nice. Super Famicom 488, SG1062, SNES. Again, you got those hack games. Nice to see. So that's why you got 808. So about 60 or so hacks on there. Super Graphics, you got five games on there. There you go. Turbo Graphics, you got about, what was that, 29. Turbo Graphics 16, 94. Vetrix, 25, 3. Virtual Boy, 22. Wonderswan, 110. Wonderswan Color, 95. Atari Collection, so all your Atari arcade games and things like that. Batman Collection, Beat'em Up, Capcom, Castlevania, Data East. So you got all these little collections here. If you want to manage those, you just go to Game Collection Settings, go over to Custom Game Collections, and you can you know, remove some like this. Boom, 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 boom. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. We can just go down the list and delete some and then go back and then go back and then the next thing you know, you're gonna kind of uh, slim down your menu here. Now, I don't really see a reason to go into a track mode myself unless you got a bar top or something like that. This so overall, I'm gonna to have to give this one an A, really nice. I found a couple little things, like here's some a couple artwork missing for some of the um, Neo Geo games up in the front, but then once you get into about C or D, you pretty much have all of them from there. Uh, beautiful, love the theme, it's optimized, it's all set up for you, everything's installed for you that you want. So it's a great beginner image, especially for somebody who's a little intimidated and doesn't really want to get into it. Um, love the way that the portables are all set up, like that Daphne's ready for anybody They can add some more games if they so choose to. Um, a lot of these old computer systems are great, all the portables you can ask for, and the majority of the consoles. Some things that are missing are uh, Dreamcast, there is no Dreamcast, there's only 700 megabytes left, there's just not enough room there, so you'd have to get rid of something to make room for that. But the arcade, like I said, the arcade collection is all set up for you, which is really nice. All, that's a big improvement. Uh, you can always get rid of some PlayStation games, make some room for Dreamcast if you wanted to. Um, but otherwise, PlayStation runs really great. Same with NTC4, there's a couple games on here that maybe you might want to add that do run on the Pi um, that you can mess around with. But those are just the small little things that I can see the majority of people doing. Now, of course, there's some people out there that are just going to totally go buck wild and do something crazy or whatever. But, um, you know, wh where it is right now is a great, great spot. A lot has been done. An image can always be better, but where it's at right now, like I said, to reiterate, I'm going to have to give this one an A. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, never mind. Oh. These covers just happen to be sequentially. There we go, here we go. the level all right all right so don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already hope you enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts and uh, some other reviews coming up quick so see you then